Today is such an amazing day for all of us because Shopify has released quite a few updates or changes. And in this video, we'll be going through one of these updates and that is the documentation for Shopify Liquid. Now you're probably thinking right now, Bernard, there are better topics to talk about. There is the hydrogen and oxygen. There is the improved Shopify CLI. There's the check checkout extension. The list goes on. I can't even count it with my own fingers or hands. But I just want to set those topics aside for now and do videos about them in the future. Now before I begin this video, I just want to say this first from the bottom of my heart. I want to say congratulations to all of the developers who worked hard on this amazing updates. You all are amazing and you are very appreciated by all of us from the Shopify community, including my own community. Thank you so much and you all are amazing. Did I say that twice? I say that twice. Back to the video. If you are unfamiliar with Shopify Liquid, you can check out this video or you can take my Shopify Liquid course. I'll put all of the resources down in the description below, including the documentation that we're going to talk about in this video. So speaking of that, let's go to our computer and start talking about this amazing update. Welcome to the new documentation of Shopify Liquid. Now, the first thing I noticed when I went through this page is the navigational sidebar. In the previous documentation in the previous documentation you will see here not just the liquid link but also the api references the ajax api the storefront api the hydrogen etc but now all we have here is the liquid and everything related to shopify liquid i also noticed that they've removed the um in this page sidebar on the right side if you remember that they've removed that which is really really nice it looks cleaner and less cluttered and i really like that i really like the new design now if this is your first time viewing this page or this documentation you probably have this in daylight mode so if you want to um look at your documentation in night mode um, you can check out or you can go to the navigational bar and you should have either a moon icon or a sun icon currently i'm in the dark mode or night mode so you can see um, there is a sun icon here that I can click. Moving on to the next update, and that is the code snippets in the documentation. And you know what? This is actually really, really cool. You can now edit the content of the code snippets. Let me show you what I mean by that. So let's open um, the liquid documentation. And if we scroll down, as you can see here, we have the following code snippet or code box whatever you call that and now you can change the object or you can customize this so as you can see if you double click you can customize or what am i talking about <laughs> you can change the object say for example i'll use shop.url and that will automatically or update the output in real time and then you can highlight this and then open this in a new tab and that should open the polina's potent potions our store will be opening when the moon is in the seventh house. Astro. Anyway, going back to the topic, if you are a Shopify developer and you want to go through the objects real quick without, without opening a new page, this is a great tool for that because you can just go through the objects. Like for example, um, I want to use product. And then I can just scroll through the attributes without opening the product page and that will automatically update the output in real time and there you go as you can see it's saying health potion and you can also create conditions here as you can see here we have the if if page description is set then output the following meta tag another thing that i really like is the performance of the pages or the speed of the pages now i'm not sure if that's because of my connection but i noticed that it's faster compared to the old documentation once again i'm not entirely sure but i think they have lazy loaded most of the content and they are cached I'm not sure if my assumptions are correct, it will be really nice. So I've gone through the objects, tags, and a little bit of filters, and I don't think there's something new in objects. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Um, but I noticed that there is a new tag under the syntax. If we open the tags, now you need to click the plus icon to open this. If you click this tags, 
it will open the text page so you need to be careful about that so click the um, plus icon it will open the following and then under the syntax there is a new tag called inline underscore comment i really like this new tag because the comment tag is really dreadful to use if you want to create a comment all you need to do is to use the number sign you don't have to type comment anymore as you can see right over here in the um, code snippet we can erase all of this you can just create a tag and then you can type number sign not that number sign and then followed by the comment that you want to say so for example i want to eat pizza right now that's how you make comments you don't have to type tag comment you don't have to do this anymore like this previously we were using comment and you still have to close the following tag with and comment you don't have to do this anymore you can simply type number sign and then type your comment i am shaking and crying rn that's faster right and now you can get rid of this don't need that anymore but personally if i'm going to use this tag i'm going to make it like this as you can see i'm using um plenty of equal signs just to create a line and as you can see it's much cleaner it looks really nice this is what i'm going to do if i'm going to use the comment tag or the inline underscore comment all right so those are the things that i really liked let's talk about the things that i don't like or let me just put it this way i wish they have done this they added this or they kept this now just a disclaimer this is not something that i would say quote unquote um, important or should be prioritized so if ever shopify is watching this thank you for watching first is i know this won't really matter to some to some of you but i noticed that the color palette changed or the color of the documentation changed previously it was green but now it's blue i don't know it just it just bothered me it's just the documentation though if you open the themes page and the apps page or other pages as you can see the color is different right it's darker greenish darker green but and the documentation of liquid or under the api and references if you open other pages like the graphql admin api that is oh it's different <laughs> why am i talking about this i don't know it just bothered me i guess this is so nonsense but my point is it's different and i don't know it just bothered me i really like the um green theme but yeah we'll get used to this the second is i wish they have added like a badge to especially to all of the new things like the inline underscore comment that is a new tag i wish there was a like a badge in the sidebar or the navigation sidebar like beside should be like new just to you know show that hey this is new try us out or you know open this or maybe shopify devs could have added like a separate section here where they you know say something about the new features or objects or tags or, or filters just like what they did to their apis if you remember there is a um if you open all there is the release notes i think this is just everything about their api yeah maybe there is one no there is none so yeah i wish there was something like this in liquid or just a badge saying that hey this is new it would be nice those are just my ideas to make it easier for us to go through the updates because who would want to scroll the entire documentation of liquid um just to see what's new correct once again it's just an idea it might be dumb i don't know the next is this might be really out of the topic but i really hope or i really wished shopify updated the um the code editor of Shopify stores or development stores. I haven't taken a look at it yet, so let's take a look at it together. I'll open a new tab and that's going to be for my partner account. I'll open a store. I'll just open my Celeste development store. And then let's open the online store. I like that they changed the um, 
the sidebar as well. Now there is a different or a separate section for apps. Really nice. And let's open the code editor. Should be the edit code. Oh, they actually did. They actually did. <laughs> I didn't know this. Um, now this is going to be a really interesting video. <laughs> they actually did. Okay, so you can now create an if tag and you still have to manually type the end if. That is really nice. So we really have to talk about this in the, um, in the course. Um, what about the for tag? You can also indent it. That is nice. I really wish they could also close the tag automatically. Yeah, we are really lazy. <laughs> and for. That's nice. Okay, I didn't expect that. I checked this before recording this video and it was not updated, but now it's updated. And you know what? Just forget everything that I just said. Shopify devs, hands down. You guys are the best. Good job. Now we can work without using VS Code. I mean, it's still better than this, but you know what? I'm not gonna say anything else. <laughs> and you know what I really liked about this is it's full screen now. You don't have, yeah, obviously you can full screen the previous code editor, but now it's full screen. You don't have to worry about the sidebar of Shopify admin. You can just click go back or exit the code editor if you wanna go back to the admin. That's really nice. Oh, is this just going to be my last point? I wish they also add something about the Shopify JavaScript global object. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let's open our Shopify store or let's just open the, um, the liquid documentation. I'll open that and then I'll use the code snippet editor and then I'll just use the object shop.url and I'll open this page or this URL and then let's open the console. Open that and then type Shopify. How I wish they also talk about this or make a documentation about this. If you have taken my Shopify theme development course, we've covered the load features function for 3D models. So I wish Shopify could also, would also put out something about this. So developers like us would know what we can do with this function because you would never notice this. Or even if you do, if you, even if you know this global object, you don't really know what to do with all of this. What is the recapture version three? What is that for? If, if you are a new developer, you would never know anything about this. So it would be nice to have a separate documentation or at least it's going to be part of the themes documentation. Maybe there is already, but I've taken a look. I don't say anything about it. I was just saying. And that's pretty much it. Those are the things that I really liked about the new documentation of Shopify Liquid and the things that I hope or wish they could also add. Just forget about the <laughs> Shopify code editor. That was really embarrassing, but yeah, forget about it. Obviously there are plenty of updates and I'm so happy for Shopify for releasing this amazing updates. And I'm so looking forward for what's more to come. And I'm looking forward to talk about these updates in the future. So if you're not sub yet to the channel, now is the best time. Sub to the channel, hit like, and hit that notification bell button so you won't miss my future upload. If you wish to learn more about Shopify development, you can check out Weekly How and use the coupon code SUMMER22 to get 22% off of your purchase. And that is it for me. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting the like button and sub to the channel for more videos about Shopify. In the next video, I'll probably make an important announcement. So if you're interested, I'll see you there. You know what? I'll go now. <laughs> Bye.